What's up anglers? It's Northern Scripture and in this episode we're going to be talking about two different spinners. This one here, the Pink Custom, and we're going to move on to a jointed spinner that I've been testing along with the next how-to. We'll find out what's popping. Alright, the first lure we're going to look at here I like to call the Leftovers. And I've put it together from leftover feathers from the Ruthie special, the last episode of How To, with some leftover beads I had, some pink and red. This one's a gift for a friend, so I'm not really sure if it's going to perform. I didn't test it, but uh, we'll see how it was put together here. Now I've put this one together slightly different than the other one. Right here I've put it right up to the bead less drag there's a smaller blade on it it's the only one that matched properly so I'm not really sure how that's gonna spin but uh, this beige piece here I've also attached slightly differently as well I've used a, a strip of uh, maybe leather and I'll take a closer look here now these feathers came on the skin so I just cut a very thin strip and kind of cut it to form around and then attached it with a thread so not every feather is individually attached, which uh, still looks pretty good. It came out probably smoother. I wouldn't say it was e any easier than applying each feather individually, but it still gives a good presentation of a thick collar look to go along with the thick tail. So I don't know. I can't get enough of this green shimmer here. It's almost like a mallard maybe. I'm not sure but it's a great pattern, that's for sure. So the blade is really small at the front. I'm not really sure if it's gonna float properly when used due to how small the blade is. It's just really small compared to the body. So the weight might be off. I'm not really too sure I didn't test it. So that's pretty much all for that. And you have questions, uh, hit me up in the comments. So now we're gonna move on to the jointed which I wanted to do for quite a while, but I've always been hesitant because I know it's uh, gonna be a lot of trial and error. So I didn't make it look pretty, but I did want to make it at least look decent. So if uh, I do test it and catch something, well, not if I do catch something, I'll have a better chance of catching something. But uh, I went with the, uh, the longer tri hook on this one. Um, I don't really like trailers and it seems that I was using them more often because they just snip at the tail Sometimes I see it as they get closer to shore. So we'll see how that pans out I'm not sure how that'll work when they attack up closer to the head of the lure, but We'll see. Hopefully I don't catch uh, some fish in the side of the mouth, but I don't know about this gap uh, how much of a difference that's gonna make on the whole end situation and the counterweight, you know to the left to the right which side weighs more, which side weighs less, how's it going to pull, should the tail weigh more, weigh more, I'm not really sure, we'll have to find that all out, but uh, the next video that I'm going to touch on will be the how-to custom made for a good friend of mine, it's a little more color coded, looks a lot more presentable, and uh, we got a different attachment there holding the hook on, we'll see how that pans out, keep it a little further back, like I said, and uh, just not sure how this is going to float. If anybody has any opinions or has done anything jointed, like I would like your opinion because I know if you put a lot more weight at the back of a single, right, it's going to kind of sway differently through the water. But the jointed, once the blade starts spinning, and it's got its own propeller action happening, how is it really gonna affect the back end weight? So it'll be interesting if that distance has anything to do with how it actually pulls. Well, that's gonna be it for today. I hope you enjoyed the video, and if you got any tips for me, or you just wanna talk about what your ideas are on how this is gonna turn out, let me know in the comments, and uh, stay tuned. The next uh, how to's coming up. And I hope you subscribe. Peace.